What's up guys? So the iOS and iPadOS 16 public beta is out, so I decided to install it, but not as everybody like on my main device iPad Pro, so I could just demonstrate stage manager and talk about ah, it's good, not, whatever. I decided to do something different that most people, actually pretty much everybody just happened to forget, and that is iPadOS 16 on older devices, because yes, external monitor support, virtual memory swap, etc, etc, are great features for M1 iPads. But this is like the minority of iPads. Most people have older iPads, the previous iPad Pros, maybe iPad mini 5, 6, maybe the previous iPad Air generations. And you know, you're wondering what this update really brought to your iPad if we forget about stage manager and stuff like that, which are only exclusive for the M1 iPads. So the main point of this video is actually my first impressions on iPadOS 16 public beta, but when it comes to the all iPads, not just, you know, iPad with M1. So when it comes to that, I gotta tell you, I really don't know what to tell because so much has been told about those exclusive features, you know, people talking about making iPad special, making iPad a computer and whatnot. But like when it comes to the other iPads, like it's pretty much identical. Like there is no difference. Like, okay, you have a bit different lock screen right here. You, you have the weather app, which by the way is pretty dope, but still like these are pretty much the only significant changes. Of course you have other ones like, you know, those special iOS 16 features that also come to iPad, but like core experience identical to the previous version and like pretty much no differences. So like, when it comes to the M1 iPads, yes, this is quite a nice upgrade. And, you know, I advocated for that. I said that, you know, M1 iPads should get some special features, which they got. But I just kind of wish Apple did more with the older iPads because, you know, there are plenty of those. And, you know, you didn't have to bring those stage manager and stuff like that. Of course not. But like just even even bring the battery health capacity, you know, the ability to check that stuff, even bringing like multiple audio support and other things, that would be really nice. But yeah, I guess other than that, it's pretty much iPadOS 15 with new wallpaper and the weather app, which is absolutely amazing, by the way, and looks really good. So I can complain about that. But yeah, other than that, still an iPadOS that, you know, hasn't really changed if you don't have an M1 iPad in that case, it changed a little, not too much. You have still iPad apps. You still have those limitations that, you know, are imposed on the iPad because it's an iPad. So yeah, other than that, it's pretty much, you know, a normal iPad OS. I'm actually surprised how stable it is. Yes, I encountered just one bug. I think with the volume, you can control it, you know, uh, in the control center, you just have to use the physical buttons. But like other than that, the performance, the battery life, the overall user experience is pretty decent, like no major bugs whatsoever. I'm actually surprised it's that stable. You know, I don't really find many differences compared to the, you know, official version. So like, it's pretty good if you have, you know, a sideway device or an iPad that you are not really using, you know, you can check that out. But like, you're, you're getting pretty much nothing if you don't have that M1 iPad, you know, as I said, just another, you know, wallpaper, some minor tweaks and improvements yet yeah, to the device. And, you know, like you have now AirPods option in the, in the uh, settings. You also have that dope weather app, but like other than that, it's pretty much identical. So, you know, as I said, for normal iPad users that don't have M1, it's just, you know, a regular update that probably most of you after a week will just forget it ever happened. So yeah, you know, at least it's stable, at least it's functional. These are pretty much my first impressions when it comes to that. And yeah, this video is kind of like, like different because like there isn't really that much to say, you know, I'm not criticizing, I'm not praising, just saying the way it is, you know, not many things happened, not many things changed. It's just, you know, another beta, which kind of, you know, is pretty stable, works pretty decently, uh, no major changes whatsoever. So yeah, I guess that's an iPad in 2022.